So you've got Atticus and you're looking to format your paperback. Well, I'm going to show you how you can do exactly that in just a few minutes. Now, hopefully you've seen the first video, the first edition to this, which is the ebook formatting. We're going to use pretty much the same file, except we're going to do it for the paperback. Now, if you haven't checked that video out, I'm going to leave a link at the end of the video um, so you can go and check that out later. But let's dive in. So open the ebook file and then instead of clicking on writing, click on formatting. And for the paperback, we do need to kind of look at more factors. So for example, let's just, you know, have a look at, at one of these Finch or Hughes or something. When you click on edit theme, this is where you really need to understand what you want for your book. So this will vary for, for different genres, but for your niche, for your book specifically, you need to decide what kind of settings you want for your paperback. So let's just run through the settings before I, I produce the paperback so that you know where things are. Okay, and these are the settings as of, you know, 2023, December 2023. Atticus is always updating, so some of these settings may change, all right? Now under chapter heading settings, you can put the number, just click on these and see what happens, subtitle, image, and then see if this changes. Obviously if you don't have images, there won't be an image. Um, and then you got the chapter title, you can choose the font, for example, if you wanted to change that, you can align it left or right, you know, so just play around with this. And then if you wanted, you could do underlined small caps for the chapter title. Um, you can change the font size, of course, um, and then the, the width, if you wanted, uh, less width or more width, you know. So that'll be for the chapter heading settings. The paragraph settings, drop cap or lead in small caps. Just look at this over here as I click on or off. So this, will, the drop cap, you can see there's the drop cap that's on over here. Click it off, the drop cap disappears. And then the small caps as well. So you can lead in small caps or you can turn that off. So it's completely up to you. And then you have, you know, beginning of chapter, each paragraph following the chapter break and so on. You just need to um, play around effectively, play around with these factors. And once you have decided what you want to do, I'm not going to run through all of them, of course, because there's quite a few like heading settings, you know, scene breaks. They, they've also got a link to book brush. I don't use it myself, you know, but um, you could do that. You can do scene breaks with image, without image, no visible scenes. So you, you got to play around with these and um, decide what you want for your books. Um, there's note settings for PDF EPUB. Um, so for the for the paperback specifically, I'm looking more for the PDF and that is the one I pay most attention to because the PDF, um, it's kind of, it's like set, you know, whereas the ebook, um, it's, it's flowable, reflowable content. So you could in theory change it if you wanted to, you know. So firstly, we got to change it to print. Let's have a look at print. If you wanted to change the uh, font size, uh, sorry, the font, body font, for example, um, you can change that if you want to. Give it a minute to update, okay? And then you can see if that's something that you would prefer. Me personally, I've always used EB Garamond. Garamond. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but that's that's worked for me. And then you can obviously have a look at the title and chapter headings, for example, like center for the title, center for the chapter, and then to uh, page number two, page number three on the um, on the sides, you know, or you can do something different if you wanted, you know, you can you could just have, you know, your page numbers at the bottom and author and title at the top, for example. So just go through that if you wanted to. I forgot I don't I forgot to put a author name, but there would be an author name up there. And then you've got the um, title of the book with the page number at the bottom over here. So yeah, just play around with this and see if um, there's anything that you, you prefer. Okay, and then I'll just show you the PDF soon. But give me a second over here, trim size. Now this is really important. You need to know what trim size. So basically, how big do you want your book to be? Um, and they've got KDP and Ingram Spath because these are, you know, basically <laughs> the most popular places to upload books. So, you know, choose the ones you want. I personally do five by eight and six by nine as the, the, the basis, like that's my standard. And I mean, I have done other sizes as well, but <laughs> that's, that's more for like low and no content. For standard books, you know, you really have to understand these things like the print settings, the advanced settings, really important that you understand what your margin is. So these are the outside margin. Sorry, that's the gutter, that's the inside margin, and that's the outside margin, okay? And you need to know what the sizing is for that, like the space between here and between here. You can adjust it if you wanted to. I don't tend to mess with this too much unless I, w I wanted a bit more control. I wanted to maybe reduce the indenting somewhere. Um, and also you got the alignments, choose your font size and line spacing, all that kind of stuff. You know, so you really need to have a play with these settings before you export your book. Okay, so I'm going to discard all that because I don't need any of those settings um, change. 
but let's have a look at what the PDF looks like. And this is the one I recommend myself. Um, so, I, well, I recommend it to you as well, but this is the one I use myself for any print book. I use the PDF format. Okay, so let's just scroll through the PDF. Um, so here's the PDF. I'm going to scroll through so you can have a look to see what it looks like. It's all fine. Just notice that it's, there's going to be um, more indentation on one side than the other. And that's correct because we want um, the page, the spine to go over here. So this is where you, you find the glue or the stitches, you know, holding the binding together of the book. So this is where, where it'll be. And then this the outside of the book. That's where your fingers or your hands will turn the sample, the page. Okay. So it should really be left and right. So this is the left and there's the right, and that's what you want to at least look for. Okay, you can obviously change the spaces if you want to. You can change the font. You can change, you know, practically everything really. You can even put like images in in there if you wanted. Um, but that's the print format. That's what I recommend you do. As you can see, it didn't take long, but you do need to kind of know what you want. Your book to look like before you go into formatting. So as I said, if you want to check out the ebook formatting, it's right here. Like and subscribe. See you next time.